done one of these in a while and I've got quite a lot that I need to update you on. So um, I think it's DIY-ery time. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and another DIYery. A few things have been going on in this house recently and I wanted to catch you up because um, some of them are really cool and some of them I've been putting off for a long time. So the first thing I really have been putting off for a while was the porch. I do need to get the rest of the outside of the house painted but I don't think I can show you that because obviously for safety reasons I don't want to show exactly where my house is but the porch, now the porch is kind of tucked away and you can't really see it from the street. And I really wanted to make it look a little bit fun, so I thought I'd be able to show you that. So as you can see, this is what the porch looked like a few weeks ago. My porch is absolutely, well, it was absolutely shocking. It was in a really bad state. It had like holes in the wall and bits stuck on it. Disgusting cobwebs just everywhere because I didn't clean it because I was like, it's disgusting anyway. So, <laughs> Great first impressions to anyone who wants to come to my house, really. Actually patching the walls was something I didn't think would be a job for moi. So I got my decorator in to do it. He's such a cool guy, he's really good. I thought I would get him to paint the door as well because it really wouldn't take him very long and um, it would take me a very long time. If you wanna see me do the other side of the door, I do have a video where I did that, but I thought seeing as he was here, I'd get him to do it all at once. And then while he was here, I also asked him to sort out the doors in the sitting room, the lounge, and the kitchen. If you've been here for a while, you will know how much these doors stress me out so much. And just all of the decisions that I never made about how to sort these doors out. Finally, the case has been closed because of uh, they're done, they're done. <laughs> These doors are original to the house. They're seven foot tall. They're way bigger than any other door that I could locate in a reclamation yard. They're just a really awkward size and I've never been able to find the matching door to replace them with. And also I couldn't take them off the hinges and leave it open concept. I did get a few comments about that, but I think that's more of an American thing because in Britain we have the doors on because we have radiators and our central heating systems are not always brilliant and it's really cold and thick wooden doors like that really help keep the heat in. So taking them off wasn't an option. Leaving them on was the best thing and I just wanted to really preserve the character of these doors and all of the original features in the house without stripping it all back completely. So the options I had left were making new doors, which very expensive, or restoring the old ones. Now. I live in the middle of nowhere and there's no one around that will dip the doors, which is basically where you get the door and you dip it in acid, I think, and it strips all of the paint off. So I just asked my decorator if he could really just sand them back and make them nice and flat and smooth. So over the next few days, he really worked his magic on the doors and the porch, and this is how it slowly started coming together. So this is the morning of day two and as you can see my decorator has scratched back all of the paint on most of the panels where they were really bad and chipped and the indents and cracks were very very noticeable. Good morning, welcome to chaos and also day three of having these doors done. I want to show you guys what they look like but as you can see, I don't know, can you see my whole sitting room is wrapped up the dining room's a complete mess because I had to shove everything in there, <sighs> but it will be worth it in the end. Let me show you these doors. So the doors, as you can see, they're getting so much better. All the hardware has been taken off and all the holes from the handles have been filled. Yesterday morning, my decorator had had all of the paint scraped off the really bad panels because as you can see, there's some hairline cracks, but these hairline cracks get really big when there's like 11 layers of paint on top. The kitchen, Please excuse this. <laughs> this is what the kitchen door is currently looking like. And you might remember, but there's a massive patch here and here where I tried to use a heat gun to get rid of some of the layers of paint. Forgetting about the fact that I have about 12 fire alarms in this house. <laughs> So I abandoned that and I got the professionals to finish the job. So yeah, basically he scraped back all the panels where the paint was missing. We were missing trim on this one and the trim was completely busted on this one. So he's taking it off and gonna replace it. 
I bought three meters worth of trim and it's actually the perfect match to the old one. And I wasn't expecting it to be that good. So there we go. And then I have these brushed brass handles from Heritage Brass that are gonna go here. So I'm gonna have a nice door very soon. Onto the porch. I need to make sure that I don't lock myself out. What is that? What are you doing in my house? Let's put that on the latch. Oh, there we go. So this pretty much looks the same as last time, but he's done a few more coats. Today he's going to putty along the window and do another coat, I think, of paint. And this has finally been filled fully. He's going to sand that back, make it look nice and smooth. He's taken off the letterbox and he's going to do the other hardware, but he's sanded and primed the door for the first coat and then we will be ready to paint. So that's the outside, it's coming along nicely. Have I shown you the door colour? Or should I wait? I think I'll wait. It's a surprise. Very obvious, blatant surprise what colour it's going to be, but... <laughs> I'm going to let him carry on with his work today and I'll catch you guys up with what it looks like tomorrow. Door check! They need a couple more coats. But look! There's no horrible cracks anymore. So smooth. This one is definitely coming up so much better than I expected. It's got a long way to go, but it's looking pretty decent. Let's have a look at the back. The trim's come off. It needs some more sanding, but yeah, it's getting there. And the kitchen is also looking a lot better. I think today is the last day for the doors. So with that finished, I can finally show you how it all turned out. And the thing I am most excited about is the porch and the pink front door. <laughs> so this is how it looks and I cannot believe I've been taking pictures of other people's pink doors every time I see one for like the last three or four years and wishing I had a pink door of my own and I finally have one. It is beautiful and all of the hardware once again is from Heritage Brass. I do need to replace the keyhole covers, I'm going to work on that in the new year, but for the time being it's starting to really come together and I'm so pleased. I do get quite a few comments about how much pink I have in my house and I've had things like, what does your husband think about all of that pink? Um, first of all I don't have a husband and second of all I don't want one if they're going to be like that. <laughs> um, so my door might become a bit of a man repeller, but I'm okay with that at this point, if that's the way it has to be. <laughs> but yeah, I have a pink door. I'm really, really happy. I love it. I'm going to stick the number on the door as well. I'm just going to do that off camera so you don't know where I live. <laughs> and then all of the doors downstairs. Here is what they look like. Oh my god. These look almost like what I would imagine the originals look like. And I'm so happy. I think the hardware, the gold that I chose is really in keeping with the property as well. And the way my decorator fixed the trim looks so good. That trim is an exact match. I was very proud of myself when I found that inducent pat on the back. <laughs> But yeah, it's all come together really nicely and to think that I wasted so much time worrying about what to do with these stupid doors and now they look really, really cute and I'm happy. <laughs> As you can tell, I have not painted the ones upstairs, so I still have work to do, but the downstairs ones that are the most important have been sorted. And there's a couple of small things I've done around the house recently. First of all, the sealant around the bathtub. Let me go to pass to my need to explain what was going on there. So welcome to my bathroom, which is currently undergoing some cleaning, but before I clean, I have to make it messy first because I need to remove all of the sealant from around the bathtub and then redo it. Let me explain. My plants were having a shower a minute ago, so please ignore my fiddly fig. This is what the sealant looks like around the edge of the bath. You can't really see it very well, but it's dropped. And I tried to patch it up, but I've made a mess and it looks even worse and I'm terrified of cleaning it. That's so bad. And then underneath the tap, even worse. Long story short, I don't know who did this because I had a few different people working on stuff in the bathroom when I had it done. But while I was having it done, someone said to me, I'll do the silicone for you. So I was like, Brilliant. and I gave them the silicone and they did it, but they didn't fill the bathtub with water. So, 
<laughs> when the bath was filled with water, the bathtub dropped, which is what happens. And there was a massive gap underneath where the silicone then didn't touch the tub. Well, there was until the other week when I decided to like add some more silicone. Great, what could possibly go wrong? And it looks really bad. So I have now investigated exactly what to do. So I got the silicone sealant remover and I'm gonna get to work. Let's clear out the tub. <laughs> Disgusting! Like this is so gross! Can you see where the water's been getting in and going kind of moldy and brown and like this? Right, let's read the instructions. Cut back as close to the surface as possible using sharp blade. Mm, right. Ta da! It is nine minutes past two, so I'm gonna leave this for two hours. As you can see, there were just a couple of stubborn bits that wouldn't come out. So I'm gonna come back, remove it, and silicone. So it's been a few hours, I've taken the mastic remover off, but that stuff did absolutely nothing. But I was able to pick away at whatever else needed to be taken off. And then I went to put the masking tape on. And I've had to use purple washi tape, but it works. So I stand by it. And this is the final result. This is water. I just had a shower. But hopefully you can see that this actually is all sealed now and it's making my tile grout look very dirty so I might have to get a grout pen on that but yeah I am actually quite proud of that all done and then there was one small change that I made in the sitting room that I wasn't really expecting to make but it was a very happy accident <laughs> So I might have got a new mirror for above my mantelpiece. I found this in a charity shop for only £10 and I knew I couldn't leave it behind because it's exactly what I was looking for for above my fireplace. So <laughs> there's no mirror anymore. We took the mirror down last night which took at least 20 minutes and was definitely a two-person job. This is what happens when you have to paint around a mirror because you have a deadline to meet. That was my fault. I explained a little bit why in the video where I painted the wall, but um, I'm excited to cover this up and then put the new one up. Okay, so here is the mirror. As you can see, for the moment, I've just leaned it against the wall on top of the fireplace, which is totally safe, don't worry, because it's much, much lighter than the last one. I think it's so much more in keeping with the style of the house, and it just looks a lot more elegant than the last one. I am gonna install this onto the wall with maybe like a five to 10 centimeter gap at the bottom, but for the time being, I've left it because I want to gold leaf the edges. But I'm a tiny bit concerned that if I gold leaf this mirror, it's not gonna look right with the blue. So for the moment, the mirror is there and I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> so that's everything that's been going on in the house recently. And I'm so pleased that some of these things have been done because they have been on my to-do list for quite some time. <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess we're still on the journey. So <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.